Hello everyone, I'm Spear Killer, Portuguese Pokemon Go player, and today I will play on Ultra League Remix Cup with Excavalier on the lead, Gengar as a closer, and Lapras. I start with Excavalier because besides if you don't receive a fighting type or a fire type on the lead, you are doing really well on this cup. Because Excavalier has, has some moveset with counter pressure dark types, steel types, and with drill run and mega horn do it almost anything on the meta. And then I'm running Lapras as my tanky Pokemon. Lapras is running only one legacy move, it's the Frost Breath. I'm running Skull Bash instead of the High Swim to pressure some Pokemons in the back and with the actual stamina with Lapras, Lapras is almost <laughs> unbeatable with a boost from Skull Bash and pressure my opponents to reach it. Then I'm running Gengar as a closer on this team. Gengar is an amazing Pokemon. If you save at least one shield for Gengar in the late game, Gengar can do almost anything for you. If you don't receive a normal type. So let's start the battles. So let's start the battles. Let's see how this team performs in the Ultra Remix Cup. Let's see what's going to be the first opponent. Okay, a former legend, so this will be a tough match. Oh, it's a scraggy lead, not the best lead on the world, but I guess I have to keep it because my back is really bad against scraggy. And for the first drill run, it was shielded, okay. Here I guess I won't shield because this could be a power up punch, but it was a foul play, so I'm in a really dangerous situation now. I'm forced to shield this one. And then I will throw my drill run and pray to this opponent not to shield this move. Would be really good for me, let's see. Nice. <laughs> okay. Now this is the couch. I will bring Lapras here. I'm not running Ice Beam, I'm running the Skull Bash instead of Ice Beam. So what I'm going here to do here? I'm going to wait for um, the Ice Beam energy and throw the surf to get the shield, but it didn't work, so it's okay. I have to save the shield for Gengar, so that's why I didn't decide to shield that Outrage from Dragouch. Here I'm going to swap after this charge move. Okay, the opponent does the same. It's a Ninetales alone with Powder Snow. Here I'm going straight Shadow Ball, no reason to bait because I can reach two Shadow Balls in time. This player decides to shield, okay. I'm going to shield this move, I know this could be probably a Weather Ball, but it's okay. I will receive another one, but I, Gengar can tank it, and you can reach the Shadow Ball in time and KO these Ninetales. And let's see if I can beat that Dragals in the back with Gengar or Lapras. Okay, Gengar is down, now Lapras and it was a draw. <laughs> a draw, okay. Sometimes this happens, it's better than a defeat, but I'm not ranked yet, so that's almost a defeat, but I didn't lost, so... Sometimes this happens. Okay, let's move for the next one. A former expert. Now it's a Shadow Needle Queen. It's a no K match for the X Cavalry if I don't get a straight Earth Power or Stone Edge. Let's see what this player decides to do. I will call this a bait. Let's see what's going to be. It was Stone Edge. Oh, as you see, it has done ton of damage to my X Cavalry. I will go for this second drill run. Let's see if it lands. Okay, I didn't, okay. I will try to get another, okay, this player decides to swap for a Mandibuzz. And this is where I'm running Lapras, because Mandibuzz is such a tanky Pokemon. And Lapras can tank any move from this Mandibuzz and will win this match, as you're going to see. I'm going for a straight Skull Bash here to raise my defense and neutralize this Mandibuzz. Nice, would be better if I get the High Spin, but it's High Spin it's a legacy move, I don't have too much LETMs to run in Lapras and Skull Bash is a good charge move as well. But my Lapras has Frost Breath, which is a legacy move, but Lapras is from 2016, so that's why it has the legacy move in the fast move. So this is Needle Queen again. I guess I want shield, no problem. If my Lapras go down, no problem, it's okay. I will bring Gengar. I know this is a poison fang, so I don't have to shield this. Okay, I'll farm a little bit and send my Shadow Punch before this Neutral Queen can reach another Poison Fang. 
And I still have two shields, let's see what's in the back now. Okay, it's a Grumble, so it's good game for my opponent. I will go for a straight Shadow Ball, KO this Shadow Grumble, and it's good game, as you're going to see. Boom. Gengar is such a machine, if you save one, two shields for Gengar, and you have shield advantage, <laughs> it's almost GG for your opponent. Would be really bad news if you get a normal type in the back. Let's move for the third battle. Now it's a Shadow Machamp. Really bad news for me. I hate Machamps on the lead. And this is a Shadow one. So it will be a, a really pain in the ass to beat this Shadow Machamp. I'll go for my drill run. And this player got a free fast move. Unfortunate. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. Here I decide to throw my Gengar to absorb this cross shop. I'm praying to this player not have a dark type on the back, it's a normal type. <laughs> this is where I don't want to be because pff, Gengar, my Gengar does nothing against a normal type. The only thing I can do here is bait for a, a possible focus blast with 10 energy from Shadow Claw, but this player didn't fall for my possible bait. And I'm forced to throw this Shadow Punch again. <coughs> and my Gengar is doing nothing here. And now what I'm going to do, I will go for Lapras here because my Excavalier has, do not have too much energy and I need Excavalier to fight that Machamp but this will be a really really tough fight to flip because Gradient is a bulky Pokemon, my Lapras it's a bulky Pokemon as well, don't do too much damage to this Gradient. It's a tank match. I have to ship some HP from this gradient. Here, I'm going to absorb this charge move and throw my Excavalier to snipe that gradient. But this player was smart, bring the Machamp. I will throw this drill run, will be shielded probably. <laughs> As petted. And yeah, it's game over for me. Now I have Lapras, I'm going to shield, it's useless, and I'm going to lose this one. Good game. <coughs> A champ on the lead is uh, a really tough match for me because I only have my hardest fencer is Gengar and Lapras is really bad against my champ as well so I have to stay on the X Cavalier, try to absorb a cross up with Gengar and that's the only gameplay I have against my champ. Another Shadow my champ. Nice. Let's see if I can flip this match. I'm going to shield. This I know this is a cross shop, so I don't have another options besides shielding that move. I will go for my drill run, let's see if this player decides to shield, shield, okay. And I have to force this Machamp to to shield my, my drill run, it's my best play here. Okay. This Machamp has 5 energy, I bring Gengar, I know this will be a cross shop, so no worry. It's a safe option, now it's Lapras. I'm not in the best spot in the world, but Gengar can pressure this Lapras. I'm going to swap after this Shadow Ball because I don't want to receive a Surf on my Gengar. And I will bring my own Lapras. And this player is staying on this fight. Probably it has a weak Pokemon in the back. Don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. This player are only doing Surf, so this player is telling me he's running Surf and probably Ice Beam. Here I'm going for the Skull Bash to raise my Lapras defense and take out this Lapras on the way, and it's a Magnus Zone in the back. I don't understand why this player decides to stay on the barrel with Lapras when it has the the Magnus Zone, probably because he's worried about my Pokemon in the back, but I'm going to lose this battle to Magnus Zone because this player was too smart, reach it to Wild Charge on Lapras, throw the while charge on my Lapras and my Gengar and, and there is nothing I can do. So let's move for the last battle. It's not going that well but I can beat this player and try to restore the score. It's uh, my champ again, whoa. <laughs> Amazing, at least this one is not a Shadow one so it will be a more fair battle for me. Okay, shielded, nice. I have to shield as well. Dynamic Punch. 
weird, okay? Let's see if this Machamp decides to shoot this drill run. No, okay, really good for me. At least I want the, the lead. Now it's a Muck, which is really weird because Muck is not that strong against Tex Cavalier. So it was shielded as well, sorry. sorry. Now I'll bring Gengar. Because I don't want this Muck to farm my X Cavalier. It was a bait, Acid Spray, not good news. Now a swap for Grumble. I will farm a lot this Grumble, throw a Shadow Ball on this Grumble, and then throw a Shadow Ball on Muck with some energy that I got from Grumble match. And good game. I guess it was a really big mistake from this opponent to switch on Grumble on my Gengar. I would go for trying to reach a Dark Pulse. And this player paid. So I got two wins, one draw, two defeats on this round. This is my current team for the um, Ultra League Remix. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.